Hello kids. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see 7th class science 13th lesson seed dispersal question answers. Let's start. Improve your learning first question. What happens if seeds are not dispersed? Answer. The daughter plants become competition to the mother plant for a water and minerals the plant species will be confined only to few regions forests do not grow thick reproduction becomes limited second one how are the seeds dispersed in calotropes answer Calotropy seeds are dispersed through wind. Calotropy seeds have light and hairy structure at one end. They travel with wind and settle at a suitable place to germinate. Why do most of the coconut trees grow along the seashores? Answer. Coconut fruit floats on water and moves from one place to another. The outer covering of the coconut seed has empty sp spaces filled with air and are fibrous. This is the reason for coconut fruit to float on water. When the coconut fruit reaches ground, it germinates there. That's why usually coconut trees grow along the seashores. Next fourth one. Do you find any relationship between the weight of the seeds and the dispersal mechanism? Discuss with suitable examples. Answer. I find relationship between the weight of the seeds and the dispersal mechanism. For example, seeds of calotropes. These are light and have hairy structure at one end, so they travel with wind and settle at a suitable place to germinate. Milkweed, cotton seeds, etc., are all dispersed by wind. Another example coconut fruit. The outer covering of the seed has empty spaces filled with air and are fibrous. The coconut fruit floats in water and reaches the ground somewhere. There it germinate, germinates. Seeds of lotus is another example. Another example neem fruit. Birds like minas, bulbuls, crows eat the outer fleshy part gets digested in the food canal and the seed coats of them become tender. They are then dispersed to other places as bird droppings. Similarly, animals, human beings carry the seeds to other places. Next one, fifth. Ravali said, dispersal of seed is very important in nature. Is she correct? Why? Answer, it is correct because the seeds of the plant should be dispersed to different places for the plants of the same species to be grown there. As a result of this dispersal, there will not be competition for space, air and other nutrients between the mother plant and daughter plants. Plants of any species will not be po populated at one particular place but will be distributed to different places. Next sixth one. Collect the information in the following table and discuss the reasons. Agents of dispersal, wind, water, animal, bird, man, any other. Name of the seed, fruit. Calotropes, milkweed, coconut fruit, water plants, seeds of grass plants, neem fruits, tomatoes, sugarcane, wheat, pulses, etc. Bendi, mustard, Kanakambaram. Seventh one. Some seeds like soap nuts have very hard shell. Why is it so? 
and sir soap nuts will be transported to different places by many means during the transport the seed must be intact without any damage some birds may swallow it and come out as a dropping on the way of their flight it is a very hard shell the seed is not damaged eighth one nowadays people want to eat sprouts list out the reasons why they take sprouts as food answer sprouts contain many nutrients needed for human body sprouts do not contain harmful contents that da- that cause damage to the health of human beings sprouts give not only energy but also health to human beings these are the main reasons for people to eat sprouts nowadays ninth one collect some seeds sow them in a particular place in your school garden observe how many days each type of seed takes to germinate tabulate your observations okay this you have to do by yourself collect tardy palm seeds make any decorative item with these display them on your school theater day this also you have to do by yourself okay by this we completed this lesson question answers in next video we'll see the next lesson question answers till then bye kids have a nice day